Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 27th of May 2023. I'm very late getting on playing the game today. And that's because I've just finished watching live webinar from David Feldman. Uh, you can see on my on the front page of my channel I have some links to YouTube um, sites and uh, people that I watch on YouTube. And uh, one comedian, uh, David Feldman, he has... a uh, a live webinar Friday evenings in the US, Saturday mornings here in Thailand, that is. And uh, it's hilarious. It's uh, very political and uh, very funny and uh, a great thing. So if you have nothing better to do, I would recommend you join. Anyone can join in. You can get the link from his uh, website or you can get an invitation uh, from him by joining his newsletter. Uh, it's really wonderful. Anyway, uh, it has consumed... Uh, three and a half hours nearly four hours actually almost four hours actually it's yeah it is it's, it's three hours and what 45 minutes very long show <laughs> uh, but really interesting it always has interesting guests on etc etc so um that's why i'm late that's my excuse um sorry about that fellow sudokans um let's get on with the game. No, I should tell you what's going on in the world news before. Uh, I see Roger Waters has been uh, questioned about Nazi uniforms in the in Germany. Um, Roger Waters has actually followed the uh, uh, what is it called Twitter account for this channel um, <laughs> at one point. I don't know if he's still watching. I don't know if he's watched the videos, but anyway, if you're watching, Roger, <laughs> good luck to you. Uh, but he clearly is not a fascist. It, it, it's, unfortunately, these things can be taken out of context. I mean, if one thing we know about Roger Waters, I, I don't agree with him on his political uh, decisions all the t on his uh, politics um, all the time, sometimes. Our, our views align, sometimes they don't. But one thing I'm sure about is that he's not a fascist and not trying to promote fascism. That's absolutely clear. And so uh, we have to get things in context, right? You know, when people are trying to do their best to display the absurdities of racism and fascism, this happens sometimes, you know, when people are accused of using the N-word, but actually they're doing it in a way to point out racism. Bring in, you know, let's have some context, please. Uh, understand the context of what, what, where things are actually happening. Anyway, best of luck to him with his uh, problems with the police there. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? I can see uh, at least two things. I'll tell you what I can see. This is the Guardian Expert Level game. It's Saturday once a week. They give us an Expert Level game. We've got fours blocking like this. We'll start off getting a, f a few fours in, but there's something else that I noticed too. Uh, all right, let's just go on with this for a moment. Oh, by the way, did you notice the uh, the pattern at the beginning here, like a cross pattern of numbers? That won't have been lost on some of you, I'm sure. We've got fours blocking like this, so fours in one of these two squares blocking up here, four blocking across here. So we will get ourselves a four in that square as well. Uh, I don't think we'll take the fours any further, but I did see, we. I think we can because I saw something else. I saw the threes blocking across like this and we need a three in this column here so that's going to give me a three uh, like so and now we have the four blocking across here and we need a four in this column so we'll get the four there uh, and then we can take the fours across like this and up here so we will in fact finish off the fours very quickly and we will get ourselves a digit seven in this square and then the seven is going to lunge across to the left and a seven down here and that's going to put seven into this square here blocking down seven across here there's a seven we can place uh, so seven going up here and across here means seven is in one of these two squares blocking down we've got seven across here that's going to give us a seven there um, okay just trying to get the easy stuff out of the way first uh, just in case it turns out to be a long game. I've got no idea. Five blocking down here. Here's the five. Uh, one, blo one blocking across here like this is going to put a one into that square. And the missing digit here is an eight. Um, okay, we also have eight blocking down here like this. That gives us an eight in that square. Then the Oh, no, we've got eight down there already. <laughs> Oops, I'm going to about to put in a digit where we already have one. Don't do that. We've got eight blocking across here and eight up here like this. So here's our eight. 
Um, okay, what's missing from here? We're looking for a nine, I can see. So we've got the nine blocking down here. So we'll put the nine there. And then I still didn't work out the other missing number, but now I see it is a three. Uh, so what goes up here? Six and something, six and um, five. So we've got the five blocking here. Here's the five and here's the six. Um, are we out of easy numbers yet or not? Or we still got a few more left. Uh, well, we can work out what goes in these two squares, can't we? Because all we have to do is look and see what goes here. So this is a 1, a 5, and a 6. And so over here we'll be looking for 2 and 9. Oh, no, don't have any 2s or 9s from down here. Um, but anyway, we can take the 2 across back in that direction and the 2 over here. So that is going to be our two there. Um, two, three, seven. <coughs> two, excuse me. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, oh no. Uh, yeah, I think we're missing two, six, nine in this column, aren't we? There's no two, there's no six, there's no nine. We've got six and nine blocking here. So that must be our two. Then we can say two blocking across it and two up there so that's our two then the last number to place in this column here is one one across here one across here there's our digit one one and two block down here one and two block across here so that has to be a pair of one and two so we can get the last number for this row we've got one and two this must be a five and now we have the five up here five down here that puts a five into that square there we needed a five in this row didn't we? we've now got blocking fives across here and across here so we can place our five there that's the last digit five as well um i've forgotten what were the other numbers here now it's one and six i think right uh and this is a one six missing here right so we've got a pair of one and six here so this can't be one or six uh that means it has to be a nine and then we have the 9 blocking down here and down here. That's going to give us a 9 in that square there. And what's left to do? Okay, we have a 1 blocking down here. So there's our digit 1. 1 across here. 1 up and down here. So here's the 1. And this will be a 6, I seem to remember. Uh, we also have 6 blocking up here, so here's the 6, and the last number to place here is a 9. 9 blocking down gives us a 9 in that square, the last number here, uh, 2, I think. Um, oh, we've just got one number to fill in here. What's that? That's going to be a 6. And so the 6 will block across here, giving us a 6 there and a 1 there. And uh, what's to do? We've just got a digit missing here. What are you? Uh, seven, are you? I think you are. And we also got seven blocking across here, which will put the seven into that square. And here we just need a three. This could be the easiest uh, expert level game, even for the Guardian, which has given us some easy ones before. I think this has been the easiest one I've ever seen in the Guardian, actually. Oh well, such is life and Sudoku. One block's down here. We need a one in the bottom row, so it goes there. 
in this bottom row we also need a two I seem to remember two blocks up here two goes there the last number to place here is a six and down here we're just looking for an eight and that's our um, so-called expert level game for a Saturday thank you I'll see you a bit later for some other games bye bye